at Perth, the 12th day of May, 1956, in public meeting of the Lord Provost, Magistrates and Councillors of the City and Royal Borough of Perth, James Alexander Smart, Esquire, Lord Provost, <coughs> presiding. Which day the said Lord Provost, Magistrates and Councillors did, in pursuance of a resolution, come to at a meeting of the Town Council held on the 27th day of December, 1955, admit the Right Honourable Sir Anthony Eden, Knight Companion of the Most Noble Order of the Garter, Holder of the Military Cross, Member of Parliament, as an honorary burgess of the City and Royal Borough of Perth, and did present him with the freedom of the city, in recognition of his constant endeavor to secure peace among the nations of the world, and in testimony of the high respect in which he is held by the citizens of Perth. Mr. Prime Minister, in accepting the honor we give you, you in turn <coughs> honor us. We are particularly pleased that Perth is the first Scottish borough to admit you as a budget. We trust that in the days to come, when the great buttons of office weigh heavy, you will recall with pleasure this day, <coughs> the day when the citizens of Perth, this ancient city, and one time capital of Scotland, came together to pay their tribute to one who has constantly endeavored to secure peace among the nations of the world, and in so doing, has earned the respect and admiration of the citizens who will be proud to call you fellow budget. In humble duty, in the name of the citizens of Perth, and by the authority of the Town Council, I tender to you, sir, the freedom of the city and royal borough of Perth. I solemnly and sincerely promise and declare that I faithfully demean myself as a burgess and freeman of the city and royal borough of Perth. I got mine, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you may have one. You may have one here if you like. They're more modest. <laughs> My Lord Provost, the Secretary of State, my Lord, citizens of the Royal Borough of Perth, I thank you, my Lord Provost, for the very generous words you have spoken of me and for the welcome you have given us, my wife and myself, today. And may I say how deeply touched we both are by the beauty of this casket which enshrines the honor you have conferred upon me. It is indeed a lovely piece of workmanship which will always for us remind us of a day we have enjoyed.
Sir, to be enrolled as a Burgess of this royal and ancient borough is a, a high honor, particularly as you have appropriately reminded me for one born across the border. <laughs> Though not, as you have said, my Lord Provost, so far across it that my early ancestors can have been entirely immune from transitory Scottish influences. <laughs> my Lord Provost, the roll call, would you have just call the names which you have read out to us. The list is almost intimidating. Between them, these Burgesses have shaped much of the history of our country and indeed of other lands for the past hundred years. I am proud to be allowed to stand in their company and not least to follow Sir Winston Churchill as your youngest virgin. I know also that you could have added other names to the list you read, for you and your predecessors have not confined your selection to members of parliament. Perth has never taken a parochial view of affairs. Garibaldi once added his signature, I think I'm right in saying, to your Burgess row. And Perth, as you remind us, is the home of the Royal Highland Regiment, the Black Watch, the oldest, the oldest of the fine Highland Regiment whose renown is immortal. My Lord Brothers, perhaps I may mention my first contact with the Black Watch. My Lord Brothers, I have spoken of the past. I share with all Scotsmen a deep respect for history, which your countrymen have done so much to fashion and to illuminate. But the greatest part of this respect springs from the thought that the act of each one of us today shapes the history of tomorrow. We are all taking our share in laying a foundation for the future which we hope will be accounted as noble as the 700 years of the history of this royal borough. No, my Lord Brothers, when sometimes one reflects my Lord, to the citizens of Perth, all prosperity. And I thank you once more from my heart for the great honor you have done me in electing me your youngest virgin. Ladies and gentlemen, will you please stand? I call for three cheers for our youngest Burgess. Hip, hip! <laughs>